Merry Christmas, and welcome to Road Trivia's very special December edition trivia games. 25 days of holiday themed trivia. Now, throughout the year, Road Trivia publishes a daily trivia quiz from categories like history, geography, pop culture, music, movies, and so many more. But for December, all of the categories will be tailored for a more family friendly holiday themed experience. We encourage you to play Road Trivia while spending time with your friends and family, whether it's on the road while driving the family to grandma's or before sitting down and watching a Christmas movie with friends. Chromecast it to the TV, Bluetooth it to the stereo, or just crank up the volume on your phone. We want to be a small part of this wonderful time of the year for you and hope this gives you an opportunity to have a little fun with the ones you love. As of December 1st, we have posted 335 unique quizzes on our YouTube channel. We would love it if you subscribe to the channel and that way you will see when we post the new quizzes each day. After the holidays, we will post a year-end trivia quiz about all the craziness that has gone on since last winter. Then, in January, we will begin posting more new daily quizzes. Thank you for watching, and good luck on today's quiz. And the category for today's quiz is Christmas Villains. This is 20 Christmas villains who tried and failed to ruin Christmas. I didn't want this quiz getting played too close to Christmas and giving anybody bad vibes, so we're getting it out of the way early in the month. Coming soon, Christmas Heroes. Good luck. Question 1. What villain is the wealthiest and meanest man in Bedford Falls who is determined to either destroy or own George Bailey's building and loan company in order to take complete control of the town? The answer is Mr. Potter. Question 2. What are the first names of the two villains who were the Wet Bandits in the first Home Alone and the Sticky Bandits in Home Alone 2 Lost in New York? The answer is Harry and Marv. Question 3. The Abominable Snow Monster of the North, a gigantic white-furred villain with long pointed fangs, is called by what name by Yukon Cornelius in the 1964 television special Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? The answer is Bumble. Question 4. Scut Farkas is a villain who goes out of his way to make Ralphie's life as miserable as possible in what classic holiday movie? The answer is a Christmas story. Question 5. Luckily, Bruce Willis is able to stop which villain who takes people hostage during a Christmas party as part of a plan to steal a huge company's money. The answer is Hans Gruber. Question 6. General McAllister and his second in charge, Jack Joshua, are the villains in what Christmas season set ultimate buddy cop movie that ends with Murtaugh and Riggs bonding at a family Christmas celebration? The 
The answer is lethal weapon. Question 7. We find out that the reason which hairy villain hated Christmas so much is because his heart is two sizes too small. The answer is the Grinch. Question 8. A 1970 stop-motion Christmas television special, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, begins in the gloomy city of Sombertown, ruled by the abusive and ill-tempered mayor named what? His name is Burgermeister Meisterberger. Question 9. Which evil magician gets told by Santa to go home and write, I'm sorry for what I did to Frosty a hundred zillion times in the 1969 Christmas television special, Frosty the Snowman? The answer is Professor Hinkle. Question 10. In Bad Santa, what are the names of the Christmas villains who every year get temporary jobs as department store Santa and his elf to rob shopping malls at night? The answer is Willie and Marcus. Question 11. In the 1979 feature-length stop-motion animated film, Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July, what villain devised a plan to trap Santa and his reindeer in a massive snowstorm on Christmas Eve? The answer is Winterbolt. Question 12. What jazz singing creep is Halloween Town's resident troublemaker and definitely counts as a Christmas villain for attempting to torture Santa Claus while Jack Skellington goes on his holiday spree? The answer is Oogie Boogie. Question 13. What is the name of Buddy's biological father, played by James Caan, who works in the Empire State Building and gets stuck on the naughty list in the 2003 movie Elf? His name is Walter Hobbs. Question 14. In what 2007 movie does an efficiency expert named Clyde Northcutt, played by Kevin Spacey, arrive to analyze the North Pole's dwindling performance while an aging Santa Claus gets help from his brother? The answer is Fred Claus. Question 15. In The Santa Claus 3, which Christmas villain, played by Martin Short, tries to trick Santa into renouncing his position with a little-known spell called the Escape Clause? The answer is Jack Frost. Question 
Question 16. What is the name of Clark Griswold's boss, who, in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, instead of the expected cash bonus, gives employees a free year's membership in the Jelly of the Month Club? The answer is Frank Shirley. Question 17. Jennifer Aniston's character turns into a Christmas villain when she tries to close her brother's branch of the family company and shut down their epic, non-denominational holiday mixer in what 2016 movie? The answer is Office Christmas Party. Question 18. What is the name of the villain in 1992's Batman Returns that spends all Christmas season in the movie wreaking havoc across Gotham with the help of a cruel businessman? The answer is the Penguin. Question 19. In the movie Trading Places, set around Christmas and New Year's Eve, Louis Winthorpe III loses everything he had to Billy Ray Valentine, after which two villains placed a $1 bet on disrupting their lives. The answer is Randolph and Mortimer Duke. Question 20. When he is confronted by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, which Christmas villain regrets what he has become? In true Christmas fashion, he changes his ways before it is too late. The answer, of course, is Ebenezer Scrooge. All right, that is it for today's trivia quiz. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, I believe tomorrow is the Office Christmas Episodes trivia quiz. And then the day after that, we will have Christmas Heroes, which is the exact opposite of today's quiz. So we got the villains out of the way early. That way they're not stinking up the Christmas season. So check back tomorrow. Check back the day after. We are 22 days away from Christmas. Have a good night.